All right, welcome back to the Cymax channel. I have an interesting idea. It's an update on a project I wrote about uh, about six years ago on searching uh, BibTeX files to find related BibTeX entries using a natural language processing tool with TFIDF vectors. Um, those are like term frequency inverse distribution uh, something. So the, the gist was that you take your, your document or a BibTeX entry, a title abstract, and convert it into a high dimensional vector. In this case, I use TFIDF. Um, and then you could search that by looking at vector similarities. Well, a lot's changed in six years. Today we have large language models and transformers that uh, have pre-trained models that can generate embeddings for documents really easily. And so I'm gonna update that idea and um, for fun, we'll integrate it with Emacs in, uh, by the end of this, this post. So um, in Emacs, I've written OrGraph that you might be familiar with. And with OrGraph, we can insert um, entries from my bibliography. So let's say I type in uh, scientific literature here. This narrows down to all titles that contain scientific literature but it doesn't contain other kinds of, of articles that are also related to the literature. And that's because Ivy uses uh, keywords here. And so we literally match on titles, uh, entries with scientific literature. And so we have to do other kinds of uh, things to find uh, related articles. Here we find 21 on literature, but some of this uh, might not be what I want. Okay, so that's what I'm trying to get to today is to find a way that I can get kind of a semantic matching of the scientific liter literature and not just the literal matching. All right, so uh, so that's the general idea. We're going to open a BibTeX file. This one uh, here, references.bib. I'll get all of the titles um, from them and we'll generate embeddings. Then I'll make a vector database to search them. And then I'll show you how to integrate it into Emacs so it looks kind of like uh, what I did there. All right, so I'm going to run these. It doesn't take very long. Uh, oh, let's just restart it, see what happens. I have restart um, up here, and let's try this again. So we're just importing a BibTeX parser, opening this uh, references file, and uh, getting all of the entries from it. And there's about 2,061 entries in there. All right, and um, it's not that interesting to see uh, what's in there, but we can look at the first one maybe, entry zero. Um, this is just a dictionary that has uh, the file, title, abstract, uh, author information, etc. So I'm gonna get a list of titles that we'll get embeddings for. Um, here we get, uh, for each entry, we get the title. I replace carriage returns. Um, sometimes the literal parsing has these slash ends in them, and we want these to be like a sentence. Um, so we get all the titles, and then I'm going to get a candidate string here. And that's going to look something like the author title, journal, year, and the BibTeX ID uh, separated by these three colons. So let's run this real quick, and let's have a look at candidates. Uh, let's just pick one, say 100. That's going to look like uh, some authors and a title, a journal, a year, and then here is the BibTeX key. Okay, and then the, the titles is just the, the title part. Now, getting embeddings is super easy now. Uh, it's literally these three lines. So I use sentence transformers, uh, you pip install this, here I'm using this particular model. Um, there's lots of options for getting these embeddings. Um, this example works well enough, and so I just use it. Um, and then we just encode each title into an array that I call embeddings. Now, this is going to uh, take a little bit of time to run while it's running. I'll tell you it makes 2,061 embedding vectors, one vector for each title. Each vector has 384 dimensions, um, and this is the high dimensional representation of the title as a numeric vector. So you do have to wait, but this is uh, for now a kind of one-time cost, and now it's done, so it didn't take very long. You can see we have 2,061 rows with 384 uh, dimensions. These are uh, not super interesting to look at. Let's look at the first one. It is just an array of numbers. And this uh, array of numbers is what we will use for, for searching. 
So we can say uh, how similar are two numbers by cosine distance or something like that. Okay, there are lots of ways you can search it. I'm going to use uh, FA, FAISS here. It is also trivial to make. We just import uh, FAISS, create an index, and then add those embeddings. And that gives us this thing called an index. It's, this is a small index in the grand scheme of things, so that was super fast. Now, to search it, we just call a search uh, method. I give it a query here, scientific literature, and we have to encode it. So this is what we do to get a new embedding vector. And the search is going to search this vector and give us the, the nearest 20 um, uh, entries. So if I do that, then you see here we get 20 different results that have uh, scientific publication, um, scientific literature, literature review, you see lots of things that are conceptually similar to scientific literature, and we got 20 of those. So these might be uh, papers that are worth citing in whatever I'm looking for, and we see lots more, uh, 20 here instead of 9 uh, that I showed you. Now, we're going to go ahead and save this. I'm going to dump the index model and candidates to a pickle file so that we can reuse this later uh, and not have to recreate those uh, each time. So I do that here, um, just with Pickle. Pickle's not the best uh, long-term solution, but it's an easy uh, solution here. Now, to use this inside Emacs, what I would like is to get all of these candidates in something like Ivy so that I can uh, select one. So I'm going to make a command line utility here. So uh, we'll call it LLM Bibtech. We give it a, a shebang. In org mode, this will get tangled out to an executable file. And what this uh, file is going to do is open the pickle file, unpack the index model and candidates. Um, we'll give it a query that is just going to be the first argument that is passed to the uh, to a command line, and then it will just print each candidate on a new line. So I tangle this with Control C, Control V, T. That tangles one block. And now down here, I can run this as a shell command, and it will output uh, these results that you can see here. It is not the speediest. Um, I'm not sure what is, uh, what is the slow part, if it's loading these or if, if it's the encoding or search. Um, that's something that maybe could be worked out. But now we have a command line utility that takes a single argument here and tells us all of the things that are close to, uh, to that in our BibTeX database. Okay, now finally uh, I want to integrate this with Emacs. And so we're going to use the um, LLM BibTeX command that I had here, and we will run it with a query that Ivy will pass to it um, right here. So I have a search function that takes a string. If it is a long enough string, then uh, it will run this as an asynchronous command and will give us uh, something back. Then um, we have our BibTeX query um, Ivy function. Here we're going to use the search function as the query. We'll give it a uh, dynamic collection equals true. And then once we get a candidate, once we press enter, we will um, split the string by the triple colon, take the second uh, piece, that's going to be the key, trim it to get rid of any spaces, and we'll insert the uh, citation command. All right, so let me run that. And now down here, we'll, we'll run this command, LLM BibTeX and uh, type in scientific literature and now it's working you can see the speed here it takes it a little bit and then uh, we get down here 20 different uh, command uh, candidates that we could pick and we could say um, pick I like this one a lot and when I press enter here it will insert a citation uh, in or graph style and then you can do whatever you want uh, from there Oh, interesting, I don't think you can see the tooltip in the um, video. So there's usually a tooltip there. Down here, there's all kinds of things. Um, you can, if you click on it, you can say, uh, jump to the, to the entry, and it will take you right to uh, the spot, uh, or any of those other things uh, that were in there. Anyway, it turns out it's not very difficult to uh, put that all together. The only big thing is making sure that uh, the actual query is quick 
and uh, it'll take some profiling to try to figure out why why that's not fast if it is the encoding part or the search part uh, and maybe there's a more clever way to interface with uh, with a search like uh, using a vector search from a database or or something else like that all right that's it for this hope you find that enjoyable and uh, hopefully we'll see something like this get integrated into cymax uh, sometime in in the future